Hello and welcome to Abandoned. Today we're going to take a look at an abandoned supermarket that opened in the late 60s or mid 70s and closed around October 2014. Before it was Tesco, it was called Crazy Prices, a popular supermarket chain many years ago. Tesco then proceeded to buy over all the smaller supermarket chains in the area more than 20 years ago from the date of this video. All doors were tightly bolted shut inside and out, making it more difficult for someone to open up a bigger entrance. The building is located upon a main road in the area, surrounded by housing. There is no power in the building along with plenty of black mould. Please do not attempt what you are about to see in this video. This is where we came in and uh, I'm just going to show you because I started recording in the place where the old staff would have been. See how much of a mess it is in here now, uh, let's just play with this. It's not often you get to play with one of those. Just drawers everywhere. Some photos from what looks like a staff outing, I guess. Looks like they possibly went on a hiking trip. It's just a printer on the floor. There's a, a speaker up there. Saves. Let's open this. There's nothing in it. Well, it's still locks, I guess. Nothing really else in here other than the place where all the keys were kept. Let's move on. So this is uh, the bottom floor where all the stock would have been moved about into the main shopping area. Entering the security room, you can find a key cabinet, a server rack for what I assume is CCTV, uh, a lot of security tags for some reason. But it kind of makes sense because it's a security room. Back in the closet of the security room, there's not really much to see. There's uh, some sec security cases and tags. There's just lots of those security cases. A barcode scanner, which is surprisingly whole. Get out of here and, and let's go into the uh, main area, the main shopping area. After we see a room with nothing in it, there's not really much in there. So 
So now we're going into the main shopping area and in here you can just re hear the rain as soon as you enter but it looks awesome you just to see all the lights dangling down it looks really really cool I've never seen anything like it before this is the tobacco desk turning around from it there's not really much in the tobacco desk uh, I'm also going to refer to that as the customer service desk floors just completely covered in unused lottery tickets and ceiling panels and many fallen lights as expected over here it's just flooded you can't really see it but it's flooded um, it's flooded over here yep you can see where water's been the mud it's been really bad there just completely mud. There's a hole in the wall which uh, appears into the, one of the other units. You can see up through the ceiling panels. You used to be able to see up out of the windows there at one point but then they covered it all up. Just a random glove, I just noticed it. Not really much there. Just lots of ceiling panels, holes in the floor for drainage where the this is where the freezers would have been, so it would have needed drainage of excess water. Just a shopping cart. This shot shows the big hole that's formed over the years. Pretty big hole, seeing as it's just closed in 2014. I got bored so I just decided to flip up this shopping cart for no reason whatsoever. I'd like to mention that all the knocking noises is just from the wind blowing in through the roof. This panel looks fairly recent, seeing as it says display sell off on it. I can only imagine this old televisions at this stand. You can see that the birds have completely taken over uh, as I trip over that plastic panel. Uh, all the feathers went everywhere. I'm going to move away from this corner now because uh, I don't trust it because of the big hole in the roof. All the water may have weakened the structure a little bit in that corner. Here you can see the water draining down from the roof. Here I find a computer keyboard. It's just lying here. I don't know what room it came from, but I imagine it probably came from the security room or something like that or behind one of the desks like the customer service desk see it's missing quite a few keys probably due to vandalism here's a plastic piece of one of the uh, cashier desks I'm assuming There's everywhere, there's a whole, whole mess over here. It's, it's quite strange standing on ceiling panels, to be honest. This fire door has been kicked in at one point, probably before it closed, but they just paneled it up on the outside and hope for the best by the look of it. This cashier's desk is completely ruined. They're all everywhere. Uh, don't know why that's there. All the missing ceiling panels, all the dangling lights. This place is very unique 
for all the dangling lights. I've never seen it before. It looks awesome. Another big hole in the roof. Now we're going to go out back now. Uh, I'm going to bump my head. Just about. Uh, there's a huge pile of wire just there. Uh, there's in fact there's, it's just the uh, flex on it. There's nothing wasn't really anything in that fridge. We're going out to what was a uh, breaker room along with compressor room. I'm not too sure what it's called. I'll just call it a compressor room. Uh, there's breakers for the other shops along the row. Here's all fan controls. Uh, if it was power, it definitely would not be in this room because it would be quite dangerous to be honest. And I would definitely wouldn't be messing about with any uh, panels on there or buttons or switches. Just walking past the compressors. I imagine it would be quite loud in this room. There's uh, the breaker switches for all the other shop units. There's a hairdresser. I think it was actually a Chinese before it closed. It's a car parts shop and a cards shop. I'm not sure when that closed. This is just showing there's no power. Here's the where the kilowatt hour stopped at in the meter. It used quite a lot of power in its lifetime. The vents to the outside are covered with mass chicken wire and some blankets strangely enough it's like someone was trying to live in there and this fan just makes it seem feel like a torture room to be honest just a slow spinning fan I thought it was pretty cool This just appears to be burnt by vandalism. This smells so bad. And here is possibly a medical room or, or a place where they may have prepared uh, food. I'm not entirely sure. Well, I know in that fridge there uh, was used to hold on to expired meat. Here we are about to go upstairs but let's uh, take a look where the employees would have clocked in. I believe this was just painted on the wall to boost staff morale. And 
not I, I can't imagine what this room was actually used for but the vandalism has just completely ruined it uh, there's radiators off the wall missing ceiling panels missing walls it's it's pretty sad to see so we're going down the corridor on the left from that room and I believe the room on the left was probably where they brought shoplifters to because it says right of search on the door and this is probably where police or someone would have came up and told them off and arrested them or something right we're entering the female toilets now and there's a pretty bad stench of feces That one smells so bad. Personally, I think someone has actually taken a dump in there. Okay, going into the gents' toilet, uh, it's surprising to see the mirror is not broken at all. It's probably the easiest thing to break in there. But everything else, like the sinks, the urinals, the, the sitting toilets, I guess. They're just all broken, except for the mirror. And, ima and I imagine if you put batteries in the automatic dispensers, uh, that would work. This is what I believe is probably the break room. Uh, it's, a, it's where the staff probably would have made something for themselves, eaten lunch, hung about during the breaks. The, the windows are completely broken. This is the big room where I imagine they kept all of their uh, st stock that wasn't on the shelves. Over there you can see the fire exit which is blocked from the outside. A big hole in the wall which just leads to the main hall on top of the customer service desk I believe up there is the very top of the elevator shaft uh, it was raining earlier uh, I'll we'll show you in a minute that's what it's like never it's raining uh, there's no way I'm going up there it's too dangerous yeah I'm not going I'm surprised how they didn't change the label on this from Crazy Prices to Tesco. Here's a more in-depth look through the hole in the wall. You just see the ceiling panels of the main hall, just above the tobacco desk. I didn't show this on camera, but in that corner there, there's just a Wi-Fi router just dangling there. No power cable, but it's just dangling there, ready to be used. Here's the store manager's office as well. It's just full of mold, missing carpet. I'm just gonna adjust this in case it locks me in. It does unlock from the inside, but you can never be sure. A big hole in the wall. Thanks to vandals. The radiator's still on the wall, which is an accomplishment somehow. And out of this room we go. We're downstairs now and we're about to leave but I'm going to show you the uh, room where all the money would have been sorted. 
there's all safes in here and stuff it's pretty cool uh, that's the way out there that hole in the wall I'll give you a good reason not to try this because I got stuck in that hole getting out Me, I did exactly what you told me to. <laughs> Thanks, Matthew. Jed, keep the power up on this one. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Right, I need a bit. If you liked what you saw today, please subscribe down below, give it a like, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>